Welcome back to IAS Tech. In this video, we are going to build searchable nested tree view in plain HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So this is the component that we have made in this video that you are going to learn. So it will work for any depth of the nested array. You can have more uh, levels of the nested array if you want. It will still work because it, it is fully dynamic and using recursive functions in it. So I will show you a quick demo. So here you can see, I will search for any list item. It will search, for example, if I search for the modeler, it will show me that one as well. <clears throat> and it will also keep the list nested structure as well. It will not lose the structure. So you can search any level of the array item. It will show you that one. So if you also want to learn how to build this, then please continue watching this video. So first of all, I will add basic HTML5 code. And then I will create a, a list, an ordered list. Okay, now I'm going to open this HTML file in the browser. So this is how it looks like right now. I will make some changes in the style for the list. I will bring the main section in the middle of the body. We also need an input above the list. I will try to add display flex and the width should be 100% and flex direction would be column. Okay. Justify content center. Height hundred percent. Height hundred percent is not working. So instead of that, I will use hundred vh view height. Okay. I will add some padding around the border box. Now I will style the input. Okay, now I will add the color of the border for the input. Text color should be gray. And there should be margin bottom below every list item. Or maybe padding bottom. Okay. This is looking much better now. So from here, I will start to implement uh, the search feature. I will first convert this layout into the JavaScript. So I mean, right now we have hard coded all of the HTML, the list item, but we will load them with the help of the JavaScript. So here I will add the script tag and I will create a function a render list. Before rendering the list, we have to save all of this data inside a, a JavaScript array. 
So that data is equal to this. So we will give it a starting string in the parameter, for example, HTML string, and we will give it a list over it. So for example, <coughs> I will call this function render list and I will pass empty string as the starting point and then I will give it the data that is the list that we want to pass and let final HTML it will give me the final HTML that I will then load wherever I want to go okay so so here i will run a loop on list element so in this loop it will give me every item in every iteration and for example i am on this item here at this time so it will concatenate html string with a list element i will copy paste this one So instead of hard coding the list content, I will get it from the item that is coming from the array iteration. Okay, once that is done, I, in the next line, I will check if there are further items in that uh, item. So for that, I will check if item dot items then call this function again so this will keep calling this function recursively okay so render list and i will give it the html string that i have prepared so far and further i will give it the array that it needs to be working correctly So after that, uh, it will it should give me uh, an HTML string. I will get it from the response HTML str this, and uh, after <clears throat> the loop is executed, I will return the response. So this is how it should work, and. Also, I should wrap this thing inside a UL. This one, sir. This one. So whatever response it will give me, that would be only uh, the list elements in string. So I will wrap the entire response of this one into li into ul. Similarly, this will give me uh, the lists only. Uh, there are not 
uh, UL tag. So I will add uh, a wrap a UL tag around it manually. Okay, this is a final HTML and now I will delete all of this. I will basically comment it out for now and here I will create a tag and I will give it ID list container. So this is kind of placeholder where we will load the final HTML later. So now we will get that element by using document dot query selector and then placeholder dot inner HTML should be final HTML. Okay. So it is loading something but it does not look correct yet. So we have to see what is what is wrong here. So here we made a mistake that we should not send the same HTML string here. We should actually send empty string here. And here I should have a concatenate HTML string with this one. So now let's try. Now you can see that it is rendering correctly in proper nesting levels. So after that, we will work on the filter option. Okay. I will create another function that would be render data. And in the render data, I will move all of this code. So whenever we want to refresh it, uh, we will just call this function. And this function will further save uh, a list. And we will pass that list. And now I will call this function. You can see that it is broken for some reason. Let me see a little bit later. Uh, here we don't have list variable, so that's why it was not working. Now you can see that this is working. Now I am I can start working on the filter function. I will create a function search nested list. So this will receive a list in it to search from that list. Okay, and here I will receive a keyword that we want to search in that list. So here we will use the reduce function. So I will use list dot reduce. And in this we will pass a callback function. This callback function will receive two parameters, accumulator and the current item of every iteration. So first of all, I will create a deep copy of my item object. So Next, I will check if, uh, if item dot item is array, then we will recursively call our function on these items and we will pass the same keyword and I will save this response. This will give me an array in the new item dot item is equal to this. Okay. After that, I will check if new item dot name dot to lower case dot includes search value dot to lower case it will first lower uh, convert all of the characters into the lower case in the name and in the search keyword
and it will check if it is found then we will push the new item in the accumulator array that we are getting by the way by if uh, we have to pass empty array as the starting point of the reduce function so this empty array will be uh, will be available in the accumulator variable or parameter so by at the first time it would be empty but we will push it then it will start to have those items that we will be pushing okay and at the end we will return the accumulator and this is one condition we can uh, return the new item even if it does not match but its child element matches with the keyword then we should return that as well so i will add an or condition that if oops, i'm checking that if array is if new items dot items is an array and its length is greater than zero then we should consider this item so this should work but uh, now we have to use this function so for example uh, we have this and i'm going to remove this commented code now we don't need it anymore so just remove everything from here to keep it clean and now i will add an event listener on this input on key up and here i will call a function search okay and here i will use this dot value so i will create this function search value i will for now i will console this value to see if we are getting correct value or not so open the inspect element and see you can see i am getting the correct value so now i can use it and we will call this function so here we need to pass the list as the starting point and we will pass the keyword that we are getting so once we call this function it will add then it will give me an array of the list so filtered list so we can use that to render our data i will just call this function so let us try it now and see if that works so i will for example i will type d e it is not working maybe there is an error in the so let me check yes there are three errors it is saying list is not defined so let's see where we are using this list so instead of list i will use data because our variable name is data that we have defined here so now let us try it again it is still not it is saying new item is, is not defined uh, so the instead of new items it is new item without s at the end so now let's try it again yes you can see that it is working so for example i search for modulus so with that it will show me the entire structure of the array as well so you can see it is working fine
आई होप दैट दिस वीडियो इज यूजफुल फॉर यू प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन द बेल आइकन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट नोटिफाइड फॉर ऑल ऑफ माई अपकमिंग वीडियोज एंड ऑल्सो प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम